Hello, hello, hello. My name is Azad Mardan. I'm the founder and the lead instructor at Node University, where I teach Node.js, JavaScript, and React. In this short lecture on the Node University podcast, I want to talk about the four or five main ways how we can build web applications and how we can integrate them with other services. So we will be talking about protocols and methods for the web applications and services. So let's start with the oldest and uh, the most kind of fundamental. It's called SOAP. S-O-A-P, SOAP, stands for Service Oriented Architecture Protocol. It was popular about 20 or maybe 15, 10 years ago, mostly in Java and mostly for XML. In SOAP, you would use, as you can guess, services and your entire architecture will be built on services. It was really good because the services would be independent of one another. Same to microservices. If you listened to my um, short lecture on the podcast, about microservices, you know why they are good. Same idea with SOAP. It allows you to decompose and have very, very loose coupling. Then REST came to uh, to basically replace SOAP. REST mostly is JSON-based. And um, in parallel to the SOAP and REST, they were also and still is RPC. So RPC, think about it as lower level protocol or a methodology or a standard uh, compared to REST. Uh, what I mean by that, in RPC, that's, that's a remote procedure call. So basically you are calling a function and that function is remote. The function could be get a sum, calculate a sum of numbers. The function could be process a request. So you have verbs and nouns in your endpoints and then you would send the body of that request so it's still built on http it could be some other tcp ip protocol but most likely it's still http so what rest brought to the table compared to soap and rpc rest started to use and enforce by the standard by the rest standard enforcing the verbs as the http methods such as get post put delete you can uh, listen one of the earliest uh, short lectures at Nord University podcast is about get, post, and put, how to do your CRUD in RESTful APIs. So that's what you would use. And by having those verbs, you can eliminate the verbs from your URLs. So you, your URLs, they become just the nouns. And that is better because you have fewer of those URLs. You don't need as many of them, such as with uh, SOAP or RPC. So REST is good, but there is even a better evolution now. So CQRS, uh, it stands for Command Query Separator and uh, GraphQL. So they are very related, very, very similar concepts. And uh, in the heart of their idea is to have even fewer endpoints because the REST APIs and microservices, they, they just will require from you if you're working in a large company on multiple projects, they will require way too many endpoints. So you don't want to maintain all those endpoints, it's way easier and better to have fewer endpoints and then um, use either a query language or commands in your requests, in your bodies, in your payloads. So this is it for this uh, short lecture. Thank you for uh, being a listener at the Node University podcast. My name is Azad Marden and I'll see you on the internet.